The Kabuki Desert, China's seventh largest desert situated in the Inner Mongolia Autonomous Region, was once one of the areas most severely affected by desertification in the country. Today, thanks to the innovative Kabuki model, one third of the desert has been transformed into a thriving oasis, a remarkable achievement that makes it the only fully treated desert in the world. This model of desert control has been hailed by the United Nations as an exemplary approach to ecological desertification management. China is showing leadership and achieving important successes. In 1988, 28 years old Wang Wenbiao was appointed as the director of the Hangjinki Salt Works, the predecessor of the Elian Resources Group, located in the heart of the Kabuki Desert. As the new director, his first task was to prevent the swirling sand dunes from engulfing the factory. The pressure of keeping the enterprise afloat forced him to take on the challenge of desertification control in Kabuki. Wang set up a team of 27 members to combat desertification and allocated a portion of the profits from every ton of salt to a desert control fund. As the surroundings improved, the salt plant's business began to pick up. Meanwhile, the Elian Resources Group was also venturing down an unexplored path, turning desertification control into a viable industry. Elian brought in desert control species with significant economic value, such as Chinese licorice, which were grown and cared for by local farmers and herders. Once the licorice reached maturity, the company would repurchase it and process it into high-tech, high-value-added products like traditional Chinese medicine. This was the starting point for the industrialization of desert control in Kabuki. After over 30 years of development, Kabuki has now developed such industries as photovoltaic power generation, healthcare and medicine, modern agriculture and animal husbandry, and desert tourism. The development of industries related to desertification control has not only helped businesses to prosper, but has also provided local farmers and herders with new opportunities to get prosperous. For instance, by capitalizing on the breathtaking natural scenery of the desert and its lush oases, the development of tourism activities like desert off-roading, exploration, conferences, rural and pastoral tourism has not only garnered over 200,000 visitors annually in Kabuki, but also enabled 1,303 local households to establish family inns, restaurants, handicrafts, and desert off-roading activities, generating an average annual income of over 100,000 yuan per household and more than 30,000 yuan per capita donde docenas y docenas de kilómetros cuadrados de áreas de desierto han sido reconvertidas en áreas verdes. Y esto lo que conlleva no es solo la generación de vegetales, la generación de, de más de oxígeno, sino todo el ecosistema que lleva alrededor para la generación de empleos y la urbanización exitosa en esta reconversión de desiertos a áreas verdes que después se convierten en áreas urbanas. The effective management of the Kabuki Desert hinges on not only the persistent efforts of generations, but also the continuous advancement of desert control technologies. This feat was accomplished in just 10 seconds, thanks to the water flushing planting method. This innovative technique has successfully tackled the challenge of planting trees on constantly shifting sand dunes. Together, more than 100 other desert ecological technologies, including the airflow planting method, licorice transplantation, big data, and drone-based desert control, form the core driving force behind desert control in Kabuki. <laughs> 政府必须得政策性的支持。Basically, the Kabuki model is not trying to wipe out the desert completely. It aims to sustain the balance of nature and protect the environment and blaze a new trail to promote a balanced development of ecology, livelihood, and the economy. That's where the Chinese wisdom behind the Kabuki model comes in.